And welcome back. Well, filing for bankruptcy can be embarrassing and humbling, and many times the reasons for financial trouble can be out of someone's control. For sure. Jamie Miller is a bankruptcy lawyer and owner of Miller & Miller. He says many people have similar questions, so he decided to write a book about it, which I think is a great idea. The very straightforward title is What You Should Know Before Filing for Bankruptcy. He joins us now on The Morning Blend to talk about the book and misconceptions, and I yeah. think there are a lot of them um, as it relates to bankruptcy. I bet you get a lot, a lot a lot of what you do is probably education. It, m most of what we do is education. We have a lot of people that come in to see us I each week and they're constantly searching the internet and constantly talking to their friends and they come in with information that just isn't true. They think they're going to lose their car or their home or they're going to they make too much money to afford to, f to be able to file for bankruptcy. And so that's why I wrote this book to help to, to solve some of those questions and answer some of those questions. Mm -hmm. Give us just a brief kind of background of, of your experience with uh, bankruptcy and why you think it's so important for people to read it. Who should read it too? Um, well, I've been practicing bankruptcy for, for 20 years and people say, how do you do that? Why do you mm -hmm. have you done that for so long? I love it. I, I have a passion for it. Um, I practice with my wife and two, ma two amazing lawyers and a remarkable staff. And we, we just offer a, an amazing level of uh, customer service, client service at our firm. And people are coming in to us at their, at their lowest. It's yeah. really a difficult thing to, to deal with. And um, our goal is not to file bankruptcy for everybody. Our goal is to counsel them and to help them make a decision that, that works best for them and their family. So bankruptcy isn't always the solution. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that's a good point. Just meeting with the bankruptcy attorney, too, doesn't mean mm -hmm. you're going to be filing for bankruptcy. Maybe it's just the ability to ask questions and kind of sort out for yourself if it's the right and the best option for you in moving forward. Right. And we really just try to empower people to make a decision that works for them. Um, we offer bankruptcy help, tax help. Um, mortgage modifications are, are huge right now. People are just really struggling to deal with their homes and the, the loss of equity in their homes and being really far behind on mortgage payments. So, you know, when somebody comes in, they may think that, oh, I'm, I'm here to file a bankruptcy, but they may end up walking out the door with a totally different idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably settling to a lot of people and calming to hear that there may be other options. So uh, when you sit down and talk to somebody, is it that you can present, you know, these are all your options? and oftentimes are there more than one or two options for people? I, I would say there's always more options. Um, you know, in Wisconsin, we have this little known law. It's called Chapter 128. It's not a bankruptcy. It allows people to pay back their debts in full over three years with no interest. Hmm. And it's a very simple filing. People don't have to go to court. But it's one of those um, areas of the law that people aren't familiar with. Does chapter, you said 128, Correct. right? Does mm -hmm. chapter 128 affect your credit? Chapter 128 does. Anything, you know, when people come in, they, they're usually concerned about how a chapter 128 or how our bankruptcy is going to impact their credit. And unfortunately, when people come in, their credit's already damaged. Yeah. So we try to help them make a decision that allows them to to move forward. I mean, like the book, we're, we're trying to create a, a pathway to a, to a better future. So, you know, things may not be great now, but we hope to get them to a better spot or better place in, in, in a couple years down the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's one thing you kind of said during the break is, yes, you, you may take a hit to your credit, but oftentimes you can start to repair some of that, even if it's over an extended period of time, some things that you're going to be doing will be being built up. Is that correct? A absolutely correct. In fact, when, when people come in and one of the first things we always do is we pull a credit report for people. And if someone's debt to income ratio is very high, their credit score may be very low. Mm -hmm. And so when we file a bankruptcy, that has an immediate impact on their credit. And so we're able to show them, here's your credit score right now. And then after you file for bankruptcy, you may actually see an uptick in your credit. Hmm. And that's interesting. I bet that's surprising to people. What do you think is the, the, the biggest misconception as it relates to bankruptcy? Um, I think people are always very fearful of losing their house and losing their car. That's, that's the number one concern that, that people have is, is, mm -hmm. is really their home. 
And of all the bankruptcies that we file, um, I can think of maybe one or two where people have actually had a problem, but we're, we're able to pre-bankruptcy plan. So when someone files bankruptcy, there's never going to be a surprise. You know, someone comes in, if there's, their home is at risk, we can plan to protect that or plan to put them in a position so they won't lose their home after they file bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do free consultations for people. We do. We do free consultations. Um, we'll spend as much time as, as it takes. Um, you know, we schedule them for a half an hour, an hour, but we're really there to help answer people's questions and make them feel comfortable. So at that consultation, do people need to bring in all of their information uh, of their finances? We, we, we try to create the lowest kind of barrier. We, yeah. don't, we don't want people to feel nervous. Oh, you got to bring your find taxes this, or that. you got to find your bills. Um, people know what their problem is. People yeah. know what their houses are worth. People know what their, what their debts are. So yes, it's helpful for them to bring in information, but we're generally able to be conversational with them and be able to get the information that we need. Who should read your book and where can people find it? Um, anyone that is having financial problems, whether it's with their, with their homes or their car or with credit card debt and medical bills, um, the book not only lays out the options for bankruptcy, but it lays out all other options. Debt negotiation, Chapter 128, like I spoke about. Um, it helps people to plan to file for filing bankruptcy. And the best thing about it is that it tells people what to expect during the bankruptcy process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet it'd be nice to meet with people who've already read your book, because it sounds like it answers so many of those questions. It, it really does. Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been a very uh, rewarding experience. Where's the best place for people to find it? The best, well, for today, um, we're giving out 30 books um, to the first um, 30 people that call, and we're asking that they call our office at 414-376-6363. It's 414-376-6363. That's how you can contact Miller and Miller. They're right on West Wisconsin Avenue, Suite 600, right here in Milwaukee. MilwaukeeBankruptcy.com is the website, and that phone number, again, that Jamie mentioned is 414-376-6363. And the first 30 callers will get a free copy of the book. Free consultations over the phone or in person if you have questions about your debt. Thanks for being here. Yeah, Thank I think you. it's super cool that you're giving yeah. away 30 copies of the book to people Very who nice. call. Yeah, I think Thank that's you. great. Nice to have you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You.